Welcome back to the New Equity Network show. Michael Yorba, your host, and Ed Baxter, the co-host. We're talking with Mark McGuire. And uh, on on Wednesday, or excuse me, on Tuesdays, we talk about uh, how people can can obtain capital, capital formation for the use of betterment of their businesses, creating more employment uh, in their communities. And um, Ed, you, you left off on a, a really good note, and I, I want to get bring Mark back on on and talk about this. But you know, Mark's approach is is not just a cold, hard, calculated approach. He actually looks into the companies, looks into the personalities, looks into the reputation as well. You know, as how, how people run their businesses. So uh, you know, Ed, bring it back out again. About about you know the, the conversations we can have with Mark about his approach and and how he's making a difference here on a one by one basis, but not dragging it out. Actually, you know, one point two five million dollars in eight days. You know, that says that's a that's a new way to do things. Well, what we say out there to the business world is that uh, it's important to know who you're getting in bed with when you borrow money, no matter whether it's an investor or whether it's an investment company or whether it's a company that's loaning your money. And I think the one thing that stands out when we talk to Mark about the process of lending when it comes to the process that he uses is that he, he takes care in, insu- in ensuring or you know, takes care in ensuring that the actual client is, is successful and also continues to be successful. And I think that's that that moves him more into the uh, investment in the life scenario versus just being a lender. And I guess in, in talking to Mark, Mark, what would you say is, is the, the recipe that you use to try to ascertain whether or not that particular company has a chance to go to be good going forward and how does it drive you to want to help them go for it the core values that we have ed at our company with our sales staff and, and our support staff underwriters processors we have a renewal department our culture that we've created is to be the highest and best use for the business owner if it's a doctor if it's a dentist if it's a contractor, if it's a manufacturer, we, we were able to provide them working capital from $25,000 upwards of $3 million. Now, we've done larger deals. But we all know on the phone that the larger the deal, the longer the time frame. So certainly, you know, we, we, we find ourselves with, with, with a unique opportunity to, to be involved with businesses that are in mid-market that are about to take a very, very large step. One thing that we tell all of our sales staff, including our processors, because they're the people in the back office crossing the T's, dotting the I's, making sure two plus two is four, making sure everything is copacetic. We begin with the end in mind. That, 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 that's uh, Stephen Covey, Dr. Stephen Covey, the seven highly effective habits of highly effective people. Uh, and that's the one thing that I, that I just adopted into our business model. Begin with the end in mind, meaning we want to fund this business, whatever it happens to be. We want to develop a relationship, a long-term relationship with this business. We understand their business. We understand their market. We are a value added opportunity for them. And as their business grows, if they're a produce supplier, if they're a a manufacturer, if they're a large uh, uh, manufacturing company or vendor or doctor, we want to be able to be their funding source. That's what we begin each phone phone call with, each conversation, each meeting with a business owner. You know, we say doctor or Mr. and Mrs. or gentleman, we want to be your go-to from this point forward for all of your funding needs. And that's that's the business that we have. Mark, let's get into the conversations you have, because you had mentioned, you know, a manufacturer, vending, dentist, chiropractor. They all start with the conversations. How does the process flow? What are what are people looking at, the, you know, as far as workload in order to come to you, be prepared and then expedite the process of getting the money they need to go further their business? That's a great question, Michael. And thank you for that. What we have done in the last five and a half, six years, as we've taken a four-page application, reduced it to a three-page application, and now for the last two years, we're working with a one-page application. It's a simple one-page application. It's 32 questions. These 32 questions are, are what's going to allow us to take a snapshot you know, uh, of, of your request for funds. There are 82 different items we look at. I don't want to go on a long tangent here, but there are 82 different items that we look at. The, the, the top five don't even include the credit, the, the top five are the business type, the length of business, the benefit you're offering with the use of the capital we're going to provide to you. Number four is the 
opportunity that exists if you're looking to have a second location or hire more staff. If you're looking to pay your past due rent, we're not the company for you. If you're looking to pay your employees because you've not paid them in a month, we're not the company for you. The, the, one of the top five things we look at is your reputation in the marketplace. It, guys, it's 2015. The internet is a wonderful opportunity for you to go online and for us to look at Dr. John Smith's business. If, if, if he is a, a neurosurgeon, we can type in Dr. John Smith neurosurgeon, and we can look at Google and Yelp and Manta and Hoover's and Dun & Bradstreet and, frankly, six or seven more sources and determine if he is the business that uh, he, uh, you know, is wanting to be. And if not, we can help him get that direction. You know, we're looking for a reputable company who wants to become bigger, more reputable, and, of course, increase their, their presence in the marketplace. All right, and you'd mentioned earlier uh, one more. Oh, you have a question, Ed? No. All right, we had mentioned one uh, one thing earlier yeah, that there is a, a prerequisite. You've got to have at least six months worth of cash flow um, in the on the books and and bank statements to back it up, right? That's right. That that is the actual minimum six months. You are correct. Okay. All right. Uh, the the dentist and the vending company, the manufacturer and the chiropractor. They, they all have one thing in common that, that made it made it so so expeditable, if, if I can use that word. Yeah, the, the, the answer is yes. Uh, the, 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 the personality of the CEO of that company, the reputation in the marketplace, and their ability to convey exactly what it is that they're looking for. And, and that may sound a bit arbitrary, but some people, when you ask them a question, you know, what would you do with a million dollars? You know, let, let's say that. Or what would you do if you won the lottery? They they usually say the the typical canned responses. But when you're asking a, a professional who's in charge of let's say 35 people that works for him or her, and I say to them, okay, doctor, okay, Mr. and Mrs., what do you use this hundred fifty thousand dollars for? And they come back with an answer that is complete, concise, and accurate. That's the kind of person I'm going to deal with. You know, I don't want to look at their business plan and look at their business model. I want to get an overview of what they're looking for. And uh, it's it's amazing some of the people that are out there. Uh, we ask for six months as a minimum because it's been my experience, gentlemen, that people who have a new business that are six months in business, it's not their first business. It's their fifth business. And they have built successful businesses in, in the past and have sold them or have, have that been, been purchased, uh, have, have been bought out or something of, of that nature. So six months in business is, is the look we're looking for for the minimum with the reputation and personality and, of course, the core values in a business plan, business model, pardon me, not a business plan. Okay. I want to get some examples out there because you, you had mentioned the HVAC company, 1.25 million, eight days. The manufacturing company, you mentioned one and a half million. How long did it take the, uh, that process to complete? Not a little bit over two weeks. Uh, and the reason it was a bit over two weeks is because uh, of the request of $1.5 million. It's obviously a huge amount of, of capital in one lump sum. And we actually uh, visited their location. Uh, uh, they are in the southeast United States. We we don't do. I don't, I'm not getting on a plane myself and and visiting them. We have a third party company that does the, these physical inspections. But we went there. We took some pictures. We we we, we actually had a look at uh, some additional uh, information for that kind of large dollar amount. So it took about. I shouldn't say about. Give me a moment. Here it is, right here. It took 23 calendar days. 23 calendar days, of course is, um, you know, two weeks and one business day. So it took 15 business days. Okay. And the vending company? The vending company, uh, that, that one actually is a repeat client of ours. That took three days. Wow. Okay. That was 250000 The dentist? $250,000. Now, four years ago when he called me, uh, he had a route that included uh, 25 businesses. Now, I mentioned before he has 105 businesses that he services. He had 320 machines. Uh, he bought the business, by the way. He bought the business believe it or not, through a Craigslist ad. He literally bought the business, owner finance. He's a, he's a young man. He's 27 years old. He's, he's a very, very sharp, sharp person. Uh, four years ago, you wanted uh, money to buy just product, just, just inventory. And uh, we looked at his business model. He owned it for about eight months at the time. We gave him $50,000 based on the last six months of revenues. And then eight months later, renewed again. We gave him about $125,000. And then we gave him $185,000 about six months ago. And then yesterday, Monday, we find him $250,000. The wow. business is growing. And again, our core belief is we want the long-term relationship. When they want more money, they 
some of our clients, gentlemen, don't even call us anymore. They send us a text message or they send us an email because they're so busy. Please send us $250,000. Here are my last six months of business bank statements. Got it. I mean, it's really that simple when, when it becomes a, a repeat client of ours. All right, we're down to one minute before we go out. Um, uh, real quick, uh, t- dollars and time for the dentist and the chiropractor. The chiropractor uh, needed to have three more tables as he's opening seven days a week, and he's hiring additional staff, uh, two which, frankly, are, are licensed chiropractors. So we looked at his again, it's the same pattern over and over again. We made it as simple as possible. We looked at his last six months of revenues. We looked at his current month revenues. We asked him for a, a simple email, the use of funds. We have no restrictions of the use of funds. It's just nice to have it verbalized or in writing from the owner. Dear Dr. Smith, here's $150,000. Actually, it was $128,000. What are you going to use this money for? And he clearly and concisely said, we're going to have three more adjustment tables, two more licensed chiropractors, open seven days a week, which means obviously seven days of, of, uh, of a phone, seven days of air conditioning, seven days of, of employee compensation. And of course, we're doing aggressive marketing, which included direct mail pieces. And they did two trade shows where they actually bought one mobile table, took it with them. And here in Las Vegas, they probably adjusted hundreds of people at, at the Las Vegas, Las Vegas Convention Center. But they need the capital to do that. Mark, Mark, we've got to go. We're out of time. I want to thanks for coming on the show. We'll talk to you next Tuesday. Continued success.